I'm very a big advocate for education, so I really wish and hope that every kid will get educated and achieve their dream. I was born in Myanmar, Bengal village, and, and I, when I was close to two years old, we moved to a refugee camp in Thailand. But my mom, according to my mom, she said we kind of escaped at night and by a canoe. So when we got there, we reunited with my father, who lived there one year ahead of us. Growing up in refugee camp, all I could remember was my dad constantly remind us to study and study and study because uh, he always said that if we're not educated, we will end up being uh, in the farm all day long, having to work under the rain and the sun. And he don't want that for us. So education is very big in our family. And after nine years, we applied for application for United States, and then we got accepted. But we had to go through all this process. It takes close to two years. And then in 2009, we moved to United States. It was a cultural shock for me when I first arrived to the United States because when I first got here, everything was just amazing. You have water running right in your living room. Back home, I had to wake up really early to get water every morning for the house. So when I first uh, got to Camel Middle School, I was the only, me and my older brother were the only two students that did not speak English. My social study teacher was very welcoming, even though I did not know any English. School was kind enough, they printed like a bunch of uh, pictures, like pencil, bathroom, board, and they put it in a folder for me to carry in. And I carried that folder everywhere that I go to. And if I wanted to communicate, then I just pull up a picture and show it to them. My middle school teacher changed my life completely. So I'm going for a teaching and I am the first person in my generation to go to college. So to my parents, that's a very big deal. I am currently at Buffalo State College going for um, K-6 education. I want to teach ESL. My mom always wear her traditional clothes wherever she goes. Our um, traditional clothing is mostly red. And Kareni, the last word, ni, it means red in English. So a lot of our traditional clothes are red. If Burmese people see that they automatically know it's from Kareni background. The pattern makes a difference and also the color of the clothing. <laughs> My mom always encouraged my younger brother to talk in, to speak in a native language so that they don't lose it. But they are already slowly losing it. Hmm. I, I try to speak to them in Kareni, which is our native language, but it takes them forever trying to understand what I'm saying, so it's easier for me to communicate with them in English. My mom is always my biggest inspiration. She did not get to go to school, but she studied almost every day whenever she's home. She studied for almost two years to get her citizenship. My dad, when we first got here, we did not have a um, car or anything for, for almost two years. He always take the bus to Chiktawaga, the Galleria Mall. He worked as a dishwasher over there. Having to go from being a teacher to being a nurse, and now he's a, a dishwasher because of the language barrier. Uh, knowing the sacrifices that he made, it really makes me appreciate the life that I have. I cannot help them right now, but hopefully someday they will be able to live their own life instead of living for us. Education is a way out of poverty, so I really believe in the power of education. If I get educated, I know I can move step by step slowly, and I don't have any skill that I could do with my own hands, so my knowledge is the only thing. I wanted to be an influencer, so hopefully someday I'll change somebody's life just like my middle school teacher did in my 